Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so I've had this Nexus 7 tablet for about a week now. Uh, I'm not quite ready to give you guys my full review of it yet, but I wanted to share with you guys a couple tips and tricks of mine. Uh, my very first tip I want to give you guys is uh, how to resize the widgets. Um, most Android devices, as you may already know, you can put widgets on the home screens. As you can see, these are all the widgets I have. Not very many as of right now, but I'm still still playing around with it. But um, the first thing you may notice on mine is uh, the My Library widget, which takes up the whole front, my whole first home page here. And um, what you can do is if you press and hold it, you can actually re this blue box will appear around it, which is saying that you can resize it. So you can just drag it, and this will actually adjust accordingly de depending on the size of the widget. So it's always going to show you every, all your media or whatever, all the information it wants to display. It will just adjust it according to the size of it. And you can do this for most other widgets too, like here's my Amazon MP3 widget. You can make this as small or as big as you want. Well, I guess this is the smallest you can make it. Or this one here. Notice how you can't do it with this one though. Yep, see? Alright, so for my next tip is um, you can take screenshots with your device um, no matter what application or whatever you're in. So let's say you get a high score in a game of Temple Run. As you can see, let's give you guys an example. So let's say this is your high score. And you want to take a picture of it and post it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever um, You actually have to press this power button the power button and the volume down button at the same time And you have to hold it for a couple seconds and it'll It'll make a sound and um, It'll show you on the screen that you take you successfully taken the picture the screenshot It's a little awkward to hold but there you go. There's there was the sound and you can actually bring down the notification tray and it'll show you right here that you successfully taken the picture. So there you go and you this is you're willing to send this. You can actually share it straight from this app. So Gmail, email, Twitter, Facebook, Skype, whatever. Okay, so for this next tip here, if you notice there is a front facing camera on this tablet, but for whatever reason Google didn't actually include a launcher to get to the camera app that is the camera app actually is on this device just Google just did not include a launcher to get to the application to remedy this all you gotta do is just go to the Play Store and if you search search the camera launcher and uh, Modico actually released an application camera launcher for Nexus 7 just so you just go ahead and install that and if you go to your applications just open up the camera and it'll open up the application the camera application and here um, here's the ca you can take pictures you can zoom in zoom out whatever you can take video and there's even a panorama mode which I haven't tried out yet and you can also get to your settings for exposure and the size of your picture and your uh, your white balance and all that other stuff So my next tip is uh, the Google Now feature, which is um, kind of Google's response to Surrey for the I for iOS devices. Um, there's a couple ways to get to Google Now. You can um, press and hold the home screen here and drag up, and you just go to Google, or you can just quickly swipe up from the home screen. Same thing, and you can even get to it straight from the lock screen. So let me unlock it. And instead of dragging down to unlock it, you can just go up to Google. And um, here you can ask like sports scores or set reminders or alarm clocks your, or weather or whatever. And um, so you can just go ahead and hit this microphone. Who won the Yankees game last night? The Yankees beat the Athletics 2-1. to one. 
There you go. But you actually don't have to actually have to hit the microphone button every time you want to ask Google a question. All you have to do is just say Google and then go ahead with your question. For example, Google, who won the Yankees game last night? The Yankees beat the Athletics two to one. So it'll save you a couple seconds from hitting for having to hit the microphone button. But that's really cool though. You don't really have to press any buttons to access that feature. My last little trick I want to show you guys is um, this little jelly bean Easter egg that Google included on this device. So if you swipe down and you go to your settings and then scroll down. So scroll down and go to about tablet and it'll say Android version, whatever version you're running. And then if you press it three times in quick succession, you'll see this little jelly bean icon. And you can just press it, and it'll tell you Android 4.1.1 jelly bean. And if you press and hold this, it'll, you'll see a bunch of other jelly beans. And you can actually fling them off the screen. So this is a fun little Easter egg, I guess. We go home screen. Another little fun little Easter egg that Google included is in uh, Google Now. Google, do a barrel roll, and the whole screen will do a do a little roll. And you can actually do this with your Chrome br internet browser, the Google Chrome browser on your Windows or whatever computer you have, by typing in the same thing, and it'll and it'll also do the same. So. Those are my quick little tips and tricks for the for the Nexus 7. Um, so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And um, be on the lookout for my review of this tablet. Alright, I'll see you guys later.